I just want to give everyone a trigger warning. I'm going to be talking about um, my journey through um, incest and sexual assault. So I just want to preface everybody. That's what I'm going to be talking about. Thank you. <laughs> I stand before you as a woman who had a choice. At the age of 19, I had an abortion. I had consensual sex with my boyfriend, and at 10 weeks, I found out that I was pregnant. I wasn't ready to have a child. <laughs> You're safe now. <laughs> Nor was I in a financial or emotional place to take care of it. But let me give you some context as to why. And I never thought I had to talk about this, but now I feel it's more important than ever. From the age of three until the time I was 18, I was sexually molested by my mother and my uncle continuously. I was the product of incest. Out of just one year of going through this trauma, I was now faced with being a mother, and it frightened me. I was not ready, and so I made the decision to have an abortion because it was what was best for me at that time. Having or making the decision to have an abortion is only the surface, and it goes deeper than just having the procedure. But I want you to know that whatever reason you have or had for getting an abortion, it was or is the right reason. <laughs> and we shouldn't have to expose ourselves and have this right to privacy. My abortion taught me that I finally had a choice to decide what I wanted to do with my body, my future, for me. But I did not go into it lightly, nor did I know how I'd feel after it was over. And though it's something that still sticks with me to this day, I am thankful that I finally had a choice and a chance to speak up for myself, to speak up for my body. And today I have a little girl who I love and care for and gave birth to because I was ready. <laughs> angry and and I am scared for my daughter for my daughter's future and for my future because people can only have an abortion if something traumatic happens to them and that is not right in the state of Utah you can only have an abortion if the fetus is a danger to your life you go through incest or you've been raped did you know that fewer than 25% of sexual assault cases last year were, were reported did you also know that for every 1,000 sexual assaults reported 975 perpetrators will walk free. <laughs> Meaning if a woman, child, or person claims they have been raped, there is a high chance that per perpetrator was not convicted. I should know because this happened to me. In 2008, I was raped, beaten, and left on the side of the road. I had reported it to the police, and they found the man, but did not charge him because they told him he told them it was consensual. <laughs> The police later told me that I shouldn't have gone out that night and I should have dressed more conservatively. Uh. Nothing happened to this man and he got away with it. I was lucky and smart enough to take myself to the hospital the morning after it happened and thankfully, thankfully was given an emergency contraceptive to stop an unwanted pregnancy in its tracks. I was the product of rape. In some states, if a victim of assault or, in or incest is found to be pregnant, and they go to court, they will have to wait nine weeks for a paternity test, which is too late to have an abortion in Texas or Oklahoma. If you start taking away people's autonomy to choose what to do for themselves, and in some cases, the choice to save their own lives, you're just trapping them and creating more vulnerability within the public. The workplace, homes, and in domestic violent relationships where perpetrators are already telling them there's nowhere to go, and now it's easy to believe. There are many reasons why a person will not go to the police to report sexual assault to include fear, the threatening of someone's life, poor police investigation practices, much like the sexual assault case against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> now believing the victim, the list goes on and on. Even if people engage in consensual sex and use contraceptives, there is still a chance for a person with a womb to become pregnant. In Utah, 58 women had an IUD and used additional contraceptives and still got pregnant. The law is, this law is classist, leaving many people unable to travel outside of the red states or having the financial means to acquire health care and placing the burden on states, on states with legalized abortions to make up for other states' shortcomings. What this law is currently telling us is that it does not care about other people's lives and that if you become pregnant and die due to your, due to your state's limitation on, on abortion, then it's natural selection. 
There is nothing natural about wanting to see millions of people die and suffer financially, emotionally, and spiritually when we have the medical means to save them. <laughs> this law is meant to divide us, but we are stronger together because only the people save the people. We must educate ourselves and others on how to access safe and legal means to abortion and spread that knowledge through social media. Now is the time to not give up. We can do this. I believe in us. It took me a long time to develop a voice, and now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. I'm not going to back down, and I will push back. I am the product of courage, and I am the product of resilience. Thank you.